CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5. This is the chapter 1. Part 2. Page 5. Fishermen in their boats. How many of you have seen the sea? Where did you see it? Did you see it in a movie? Or for real? How deep do you think the sea could be? Find out. Do you know how to swim? Would you be scared of the high sea waves? Page 6. Close your eyes and imagine the sea with waves rising high. How high do you think the waves can go? Write your answer in the blank space. Below this we have the picture of a girl and a boy who are imagining the sea with waves rising very high. Imagine that there are fishermen in their boats going up and down with the waves. They start their trip when it is still dark. Some go on a simple boat made from logs of wood tied together. If the sea is rough, with very high tides and a strong wind, then these fishermen have a very difficult time. On the left side we see the picture of a boy, a fisherman boy, standing on a log boat in the water. These log boats do not go very far. If the wind is helpful, they travel about four kilometers in one hour. How long will they take to go on a distance of ten kilometers? Guess how far you can go in one hour if you walk fast? On the right side of the bottom of the page, we again see a picture of a log boat with three fishermen riding it in the waters. Page 7 Fishermen can feel the wind and look at the sun to find out which way to go. Many of us would get lost and not be able to find our way on the sea where you only see water, water and nothing else. To the right side of this text we see the picture of a boy wondering while looking at the sun to find out which direction to go. He is perhaps looking for his way back home. Find out. Look at the sun and find out the direction from where it rises. From where you are, what interesting thing do you see to your east? Name two things that are lying to your west. What a catch! Out on the sea, Fishermen look for a place where they hope to find a good catch of fish. There they spread their nets. They will have to wait for many hours for the fish to come into their nets. We see the picture of many fishermen gathered on the seashore with some boats and a long sword fish being held by one of them, perhaps as a good catch of the day. There are different types of boats. Some boats have motors and go further into the sea. Since they go far out, they can catch more fish. These boats travel faster at the speed of about 20 kilometers in one hour. How far would the motor boats go in three and a half hours? How much time will they take to go 85 kilometers. On the bottom left of the page, we see the picture of an oar boat near the shore in the waters and two fishermen surrounding it. Page 8. We have some more pictures of boats on this page. The first picture shows motorboat from a far off distance. The second picture shows a motorboat up close with three fishermen around it. There are many fishes on the motorboat as well. The third picture has long tailboat 
which has just arrived from the sea and has landed on the shore. Many fishermen are dragging it up to the shore. The fourth picture is of a big machine boat or trawler. It looks like a mini hut traveling in the sea. But the fishermen are now very worried. There are some very big machine boats or trawlers in the business. They go far out and put their big nets deep in the sea. This way they collect a whole lot of fish, leaving very few near the seashore. They also stay out on the sea for many days. These big machine boats also catch the small baby fish, which have yet to grow up. Fishermen in the smaller boats always let the baby fish pass through their nets to go back into the sea. They choose a net size in such a way that only the grown-up fish are caught. On the left side of the bottom of the page we see the picture of a couple of fishermen who are sad because nowadays there is a shortage of fish since their boats cannot go deep into the waters and have to come back earlier. Page 9. For hundreds of years, fishermen have cared for the sea and its fishes, and fished only a little to eat and sell. They say that if trawlers catch thousands of kilograms of fish every day, there will be no fish left in the sea. Write a news report about the dangers faced by the fishes in our rivers and seas. To the right corner of the top of the page we see the picture of a small boat on which a fisherman has his net all set up to catch fish for the day, but he can see only very few in the water below. Which boat gets how much? In one trip, the log boat brings about 20 kilograms of fish, but other types of boats bring a bigger catch as given in the table. The table also shows the speed of each type of boat, which is how far each boat goes in one hour. Observe the table and calculate a. About how much fish in all will each type of boat bring in seven trips? b. About how far can a motor boat go in six hours? c. If a long tail boat has to travel 60 kilometers, how long will it take? There's a table below this with three columns. We have four rows of entries. Let's try and understand the table. Type of boat, log boat, catch of fish in one trip, in kilograms, 20. Speed of the boat, that is how far it goes in one hour, 4 kilometers per hour. Type of boat, long tail boat, catch of fish in one trip, 600 kilogram. Speed of the boat, 12 kilometers per hour. Type of boat, motor boat. Catch of fish in one trip, 800 kilograms. Speed of the boat, 20 kilometers per hour. Type of boat, machine boat. Catch of fish in one trip, 6,000 kilograms. Speed of the boat, 22 kilometers per hour. Part 2. The chapter 1 ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in production by Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.